<clears throat> Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. How's everything? How was your day today? I need more light. Come on, my friend. I need some lamps. How was your day? Did you enjoy it? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. The news. Good news. Plans for the weekend. I need my watch. No, no plans. Yes, there are plans I remember now. No van a llevar a cabo las, las invitaciones. Uh -huh. No, la del cine, a donde más, al parque, juego de pelota, conciertos. <coughs> no van a llevar a cabo los planes. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, I forgot something. We're talking about family members, right? But I guess you don't have problems with this. I'm going to show you this one. Do you like The Simpsons? I don't like it. You like it? No, I don't. No. I don't like it. Why not? I like um I think Rick and Marty are better than Simpsons. Oh, come on. I really enjoy this TV program. <clears throat> I'm really I have a sore throat. Okay. Family members, so probably this is a very famous, oops, what happened? A very famous TV program, so probably you know each member. Who is she? <clears throat> She's Lisa Simpson. And Lisa is introducing his or her family paying attention to lisa he is my brother she is my sister he is my father she is my mother they are my parents he is my grandfather. She is my grandmother. They are my grandparents. And there you have family tree. Grandfather, grandmother. Both grandparents. And then we have parents. Father, mother. And then we have the children. 
brother and sister. Okay? <clears throat> In this case, probably you remember possess the possessive apostrophe. Okay? And that's what we are going to refresh a little bit. Who is he? And because, because Lisa was speaking about her family, so he is Lisa's, Lisa's grandfather. grandfather. That's correct. Who is she? She is Lisa's grandmother. Perfect. Who is he? Is he Lisa's father? Lisa's father. Who is she? She is Lisa's mother. Perfect. Who is he? He is Lisa's brother. 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 He is Lisa's brother. Who is she? Is she Lisa's sister? She is Lisa's sister. And that's it. That's the vocabulary, family members. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> in the other side, we have the in-laws. In-laws. Que serían los políticos, right? Brother-in-law, sister-in-law, mother-in-law. Okay. Oops. Okay. And if you remember yesterday, we were talking about Sam's family, right? Sam's family. <clears throat> This one, right? <clears throat> and we already uh, discussed it. Sam's family. And we were up and we talk a little bit. Who do you live with? And you mention your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife. Everybody's married, right? No, Victoria is not married. Camila is not married. A lot of people are married. And that was the conversation that we are going to practice. <clears throat> I'm going to read it first, okay? You listen, pay attention, and after that, you are going to read it in pairs. It says, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. There you have. New words, new vocabulary. Teacher, what is the meaning of my sister's away? My sister's away. It means that her sister is not in the country. Probably she's in another country. She's away. Yes. Okay. Thank you. She's away. She's not in the country. She's outside. She's traveling. Mm -hmm. Nice. Something else? Government. 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 Gobierno. The government in the country. Mm -hmm. 
for the government. 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 My sister works for the government. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Mayra? With life, with life. Wild life. Wild, solo la palabra wild, salvaje. Wild life, vida salvaje. Wild life. Wild life. Yes, wild life. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it, teacher. You're welcome. What else? Um, sisters away. My sister's away. Um, está fuera. Mi hermana está fuera. Está lejos. Mm -hmm. My sister's away. Uh -huh. My sister's away. Mi hermana está fuera. Está lejos. Está fuera del país. My sister's away. Anything else? No. Okay. Let's practice. Rita and Sue. Who wants to go first? Camila and Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan, you are Rita. Camila, you are Sue. Okay, teacher. Um, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and um, what do what about your brother? He's a good life photographer. Photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet him? Oh, no, my sister. Oh, wait. She's not working in the unit status this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Very good. Mm -hmm. She's travel. He's traveling in the Amazon. United States. United States this month. Can I meet them? Can I meet them? Good. Thank you, guys. And then Mayra and Edgardo. Mayra, you are Rita. Edgardo, you are Sue. Okay. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working at very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? It's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet him? Um, no, my sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Amazon. Mm -hmm. He's traveling in the Amazon. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on. Let's continue. Ana Carolina, you are Rita. And Wendy, you are Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for, for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret 
project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a real life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Um, no, my sister, Iway, she is not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He is traveling in the Amazon. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. Mm -hmm. um, what an interesting family. What an interesting family. Good. Um, Nevi and Nelsie, please. Okay, you start. You are Rita uh, Nevi. Tell me up. <clears throat> Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what do what do she do? I'm not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Well, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an what an interesting family. Can I Meet the client meeting? Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. He's traveling in the Amazon. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Thank you, ladies, very much. What an interesting family. Okay. Um, Who's missing? More volunteers? No, Cecilio? Yo tengo un problema que no sé cómo contener la manita porque yo estaba pidiendo pero no sé cómo hacer mis compañeros para tener la manita para eh, ahí en la barra le aparece mm. Reacciones, Cecilio, uh -huh. ahí le coloca el icono y le aparece la manita levantada. Dice más, hay tres puntitos, dice más y ahí está la palabra reacciones. Ah, ya, ya, ya la vi. Uh -huh. Ahí le da clic. Pero, pues, muy bien. Uh -huh. Pero para la prueba, está. ya la vi, gracias. Perfect. That's cool. Muy bien, voy a participar. Ok, ok, cool. So... Uh, let's see. I have Victoria. Okay, Victoria, you are Rita. And Cecilia, you are Sue. Okay. <clears throat> uh, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. We mean sister working for the government. Oh, what does she do? What does she do? Sorry. She I'm not sure if she is working on every second project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He is will live in Toronto. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister is why he is not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. That was nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. You're welcome. And then we have a uh, Maria Elena, I guess. Karina. I, I don't know if Edgar and Wendy are want to Change roles. <clears throat> I, I want to try it again. Cool. So let me finish with Maria Elena. And what's next? 
So, so Edgardo, Maria Elena and Edgardo. In this case, you are Rita, right, Edgardo? Uh, yes, it's right, Isha. Go ahead. Tell me about your brother and sister, too. Sorry, teacher. I I think my audiphones are not working. Yes, uh, something's wrong. Yes. Uh, um, uh, oh, what does what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, what, about what an brother. photographer. What an, what an interesting family. Can I meet them? Um, no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's driving in the Amazon. Okay. In the Amazon. Perfect. That was good. Thank you. Okay, no more, I guess. Uh, yes, can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, because I don't know. Let me... Something's wrong. Something, something's wrong with the. Let me see. Al momento de compartir pantalla, veo eh, unas cámaras que se me quedan congeladas y otras no. Unas sí y otras no. I don't know what's going on. So. A veces es la señal, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Uh, okay, let me. In this case, what we are going to practice, and you know, you already know, because um, you already finished, some of you already finished the platform, right? So what we are practicing here, if you remember the conversation, it says, if you remember the conversation, my sister is not working no, my sister is working on a very secret project, right? In this case, that's present continuous. My sister is working on a very secret project or she is working on a very secret project. And then we have uh, my brother is traveling in the Amazon, or he is traveling in the Amazon. That is present continuous, right? So let's continue with this. And we continue with the Simpsons. I'm sorry, Victoria. Okay. Lisa is the teacher now, present continuous. What is present continuous? We use present continuous to, to talk about actions, actions that are happening at the moment 
we are speaking. Right now, for example, I am speaking and you are listening. You are paying attention. Uh, you are um, participating. Yes, you are practicing English. Yes, and you are watching my presentation. If you notice, this is present continuous. Actions that are happening at the moment that I am speaking, okay? And then what's the structure or the form? Subject, verb to be, main verb plus ing. In the conversation, check the conversation. My sister is, or my brother, right? Affirmative sentence. He is traveling. He is traveling. So he, the subject, mm -hmm. is, the verb to be, travel, travel, and ing, traveling, continues. He is traveling in the Amazon. Or my sister is working on a secret project. Or we can say my sister is working for the government. Okay? So this is the formula, the form, the structure. And there are some rules, right? Verbs ending in E remove the E and add ing. For example, dance, dancing. He is dancing. She is dancing. We are dancing. They are dancing. Write. We eliminate the E and write ing. Write, write in. Write, write in. Another rule, verbs with one syllable ending vowel consonant, we double the last consonant and add ing. For example, sit, sitting with double t, run, running, swim, swimming. That's it. Now look at the pictures and complete the sentences. Mm -hmm. Now that's your turn. Complete the sentences. Grandpa, grandpa. Okay. Grandpa is sitting on a chair. is swimming in the swimming pool. Homer? Drinking. Drinking. Homer is drinking. Homer is drinking in the swimming pool. Drinking, right? Drinking. Otto is listen, listening to music in the front of the school. In front of the school. Perfect. Otto is listening. And he is dancing, right? At the same time, listening to music and dancing. I am reading a book in the living room. Perfect. He's writing a book in the living room. No, no, perdón, I am. I am. I am reading. I am reading. About. Are jumping in the Yes. Are jumping. Are jumping.
Oops, that's the same. Homero is running. Running. Running in the bar. Homer and Bart are going to the park. Yes. Padre e hijo van para el bar. <laughs> Another one. Homer is eating a cake in the kitchen. Very good. Homer is eating. Stephanie. And now, vemos una novela. <clears throat> yes, Mexicana. Yes. Ah, le gusta. No like it, teacher. Le gusta la novela mexicana. A Carolina le gusta. Okay, so that's present continuous. Now, let's see what, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to ask you, but I don't know. What's happening in your house? Probably you are alone in your bedroom or in the garage. I don't know. But what's going on? What's happening in your house? I'm going to give you my example. In my house, uh, my nephew my little nephew is playing on the tablet. And my little niece is sleeping next to me on the sofa. She's sleeping. Uh, my mother is in the kitchen. I guess she's cooking and watching soap operas, but she watches this movie, these soap operas, they are not Mexican soap operas. I don't know, but she's cooking okay. and she, and she, huh? Oh? Turkey soap opera. Uh, yeah, yes, uh-huh. They are famous now in El Salvador. Okay, but she is cooking and she is watching television. Okay, and my dog is sleeping. My cat is sleeping too. Everybody's sleeping. Everybody's resting. Solo yo trabajo. I am working. And I am hungry. I need coffee and food. Now, what's going on in your house? What's happening in your house? Can you tell me? My son is pairing animals. Uh, my husband is pairing with my son. And my brother is playing video games. And me in bedroom. In your bedroom. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por eso no le escucha el esposo cuando va. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, no, I'm no. watching I'm watching his class teacher. Okay. My dog is sleeping next to me. My mother and my sister are sleeping. Everybody's busy. Okay. Nice. Someone else? I am study my English class for today, my mother is sleeping and my sister is sleeping as well. My two dogs are darking outside and if you can hear them, you can hear them darking. Barking. Mm -hmm. Barking, okay. Thank you, barking. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. Nice. 
Thank you. Someone else? Edgardo, though, I guess. No. Hey, teacher, I'm, I'm in my bedroom uh, learning, uh, learning uh, to speak English and talking to you. My brother is watching a documentary about mechanics. My father is sleeping right now, and my cats are eating uh, their food in in, at, at, uh, in this moment. And that's all. Okay, cool. Nice. Thank you very much, Mayra. I like to listen to music in the living room. My niece is dancing in the, in the living room. And my husband is watching a movie. Okay, nice. Someone else? Nevi? My son is in your classes. My, my other son, I don't know how to say my other son. My other son. My other son in, in a sleeping. My husband is, creo. I guess. I guess. Uh, watching cell phone. I'm, I am uh, English class, class. Nice. Someone else? Thank you. Sure. Cecilia. Oh, Edgardo. Some of my neighbors are parking their car uh, out of, of my house in this moment. Playing the guitar. Okay. Me pusieron serenata. Te encontró las manitas, Cecilio, mire. <laughs> ajá, ajá, eso estaba viendo. Ya encontró todas las... las... Ok, cool. Ya se, ya se puso a jugar. Es <laughs> cool. Ok. Ok. Uh, my father is sleeping. Uh, my sister is sleeping. Uh, I am studying class. Studying English. Everybody's sleeping. Ok, cool. Ok. Perfect. Somebody else? My mother and my sister sleeping. Are sleeping. And I'm in the class. Okay, I am in this, yeah. In this case, you can say I am attending my class i am attending my class i am attending my class mm -hmm. attending it's like recibiendo attending i am attending my class mm -hmm. nice thank you anyone else no all right Okay, and there you have the grammar section, right? Present continuous. Are you living at home now? In this case, the question, right? Where to be? We're going to practice this, how to make a affirmative. Okay, we've already practiced affirmative, if you notice, only affirmative sentences. Then we're going to practice a negative sentences and then questions. Those are some examples. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. And those are short answers. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is or not she's not 
are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. Or no, they're not. And then we have WH, WH questions. Where are you working now? What is your brother doing these days? Who are your parents visiting this week? Now, and if you notice, or let's see, Nevi. Vuelvo a lo mismo, teacher. Cuando vamos a las preguntas WH, siempre vamos a obtener una respuesta con más, más completa. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. And, uh, well, I'm going to ask you some questions as examples, but I'm going to tell you um, the rule says that we use present continuous for actions that are happening at the moment, right? But what happens if I ask you, and I'm going to write, I'm going to write the, the question. What happens if I ask you this, for example? What are you doing these days? If you see, what are you doing these days? I mean, uh, the action is not happening right now, at the moment, right? It's something that is uh, happening. I mean, what are you doing these days? Es como cuando lo decimos en español. ¿Qué estás haciendo estos días? Not in the moment, right? But you are doing the action. For example, eh, I am setting my Christmas tree in my house. I mean, not right now, but I am doing in this week, these days, right? I am uh, setting my Christmas tree. Um, I am working at a university these days. I am checking final exams. Yes. So the action is not happening right now, but it's an ongoing action. You get it? La acción no está sucediendo inmediatamente, pero es lo que estoy haciendo yo estos días. Right? So, in this case, we can use present continuous. Sí, Now, ajá, if... este, siempre, o sea, aunque, aunque no esté en el momento, siempre va a ser presente continuo porque va a estar dentro de la misma, como digamos, la misma semana, no es pasado, sino que está en la misma semana. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, and that's the usual. A, a very common question, right? If I ask you, for you, <laughs> Nevi, for example, what are you doing these days? I am finished class. I am finishing? I am finishing class uh -huh. in my work. Mm -hmm. I am shopping, shopping. Okay. Shopping. Or you are... Uh -huh. You are doing your shopping. Uh, in the weekend? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I mean, I mean, okay, forget it, forget it. But you are doing your shopping, right? Okay, uh-huh, mm -hmm. you are finishing your classes, you are doing your uh, shopping. What else? Mm. I am cleaning the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Siempre siempre será eh, en la misma semana, verdad? Yes. Y siempre va a ser con ing 
porque estamos hablando de presente continuo. O sea, no es mi pasado, aunque lo hice ayer, no incluye en mi pasado, sino que está dentro de la misma semana. ¿Así? Y, exactly. It means... Eh, I, I have forgotten the word. Eh, se me ha olvidado la, exactamente la palabra. Pero son acciones que estamos llevando a cabo en es en 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 el en un cier en determinado tiempo, ¿verdad? Como usted lo dice, estos días, eh, por lo menos esta semana, en español, eh, nosotros en español decimos he estado muy ocupado esta semana, he estado, bueno, eh, maestra, he estado calificando, eh, es, estoy eh, preparando exámenes, que estoy eh, pintando mi casa para Navidad. Eh, que estoy haciendo las compras navideñas. O sea, no las estamos llevando a cabo al momento de decirlas, pero lo estamos haciendo en este periodo de tiempo. Right? That's the idea. Uh -huh. Los siguientes se están dando en el tiempo. Exactly. Es continuo. Uh -huh. In this case, we use present continuous. Ok. Comments, questions. No, okay. Ah, uh, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. The question is, who do you live with? And the oh, answers no. are no. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, yes, Brenda. Just give me a second. Brenda is running. Okay, Brenda. No, uh, this question is porque estaba utilizando la la slide con esa. Comenzamos y la practicamos ayer. Uh -huh. No. Ok. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. So, let's, let's see. Ajá. Comments, questions. One example about your topic is, for example, um, I'm teaching some classes. It's correct. I'm teaching some classes at school, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm shopping some something. I'm shopping something. I'm shopping some things. I'm buying. Buying, in this case. I'm buying. I'm buying ah, some things. I'm buying. I'm buying uh -huh. something. Ah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm checking the test from my students. Okay. Yes. yes. Cool. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Nice. Uh -huh. Something else? The examples are my boss is always making me work. He's always giving me to work. To work. Um, recently, my Recently. baby is not sleeping. Re sorry? Re recently? Recently. Or recently. 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 Recently, my baby is not sleeping. So I had to stay up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good examples. Good. Mm -hmm. Someone else? What do you say? Cecilia? Uh, for example, um... Eh, por decir, en esta semana he estado visitando a mi familia. Mm, no, exactamente. No, no, no entra en. No. De familia. No, en este caso, probably this example is not a very good one. Ahí ya tendría que ser eh, otra estructura. Es otra estructura que igual lleva el continuo. A acá sería... I have been... I have been visiting my family. I have been visiting my family. Es igual... Pink, ¿qué es? 
pin is like this. Um, es el verbo siempre to be. Mm -hmm. Like this. I have been. Mm -hmm. el, es el verbo to be, pero en otro tiempo. A, acá, I have been visiting. Visiting my family. My family. Ajá. En este caso, acá, esta palabra ya sería como e. Yo he. Y luego el, el, el verbo to be, estado. Yo he estado. Y luego el continuo, visiting. Yo he estado visitando a mi familia. Uh -huh. Interesante. Yo he estado visitando. Uh -huh. No, ya ve cómo podía... Eh, decirse eso pero... in teacher es un verbo irregular es irregular be porque el pasado es was be was y el presente es am um, is are irregular yes mm -hmm. so in this case Cecilia eh, esta sería una mejor opción I have been Vamos. visiting my family. Mm -hmm. I, have visit, I have been visiting my family. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Any other comment or question? No. Okay. Perdón, teacher. Yes. En esa respuesta, I have been visiting my family. Entra la pregunta, what are you doing these days? Yeah, can be. Mm -hmm. la, oh, pregunta, okay. la pregunta podría, podría usarse ajá, acá. What are you doing these days? Y puede responderse, I have been visiting my family. Mm -hmm. ¿Por oh, qué? Okay. Quizás adelantándonos con las estructuras. Esto es un poquito... Esa estructura es un poquito avanzada. Eh, digamos... Sí, si, yo, si, yo, si yo elimino esta pregunta y para hacerla una que concuerde más, podría ser siguiendo el, el mismo patrón. What have you been doing? ¿Qué... Has tú estado haciendo? These days. ¿Qué has estado haciendo estos días? Ajá, ok. Que concuerda más, pero la anterior se puede dar. No, 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 hay, no hay ningún problema. What, what are you doing these days? Or what have you been doing these days? No, I have been visiting my family. Uh -huh. Pero ahí tiene ya una, la pregunta, ¿no? Para que la puedan poner en práctica también. What have you been doing these days? Mm -hmm. Qué barbaridad, teacher. Ya se terminó la hora, no sentí. Yeah. It's... It's gone. Oh. Huh? Yes. Y eso que Carolina ha estado callada. Ok, any comment? Carolina, yo o la otra Carolina. Ah, oh, este. O la otra, ¿verdad? Sí. My classmate. Your classmate. Ana. Yes. Yo, yo creo que Ana. Esa... Por Ana eso Carolina, creo que yes. le digo el nombre completo, no sé. Hasta Hay ver. otra Ana también, o había, creo. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ana Carolina Jiménez Lima. Ok. Sí. Any other Estoy comments? Un poquito más. Sí. Pero she's sleeping. Se está durmiendo. <risa> yes. Ok. 
Okay, wow. and I need to go to the kitchen to prepare my my eggs with beans. Let's see, Al Alvaro Mauricio. Present teacher. Ana Carolina Jimenez Lima, number two in the list. Present. Ana Xiomara. Brenda Rachel. Camila Alessandra. Present. Cecilio. Edgardo Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Elsie del Carmen. I'm here, teacher. Jonathan Adonai. I'm here. Jose Elido. Creo que no. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jose Oswaldo. Karen Xiomara. I'm here. Karina Yamilet. Present. Carla Elizabeth. Present teacher. Carla Saraí. Present teacher. Lázaro. Present teacher. Thank you. Ledvia. Present teacher. Mayra Esperanza. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. María José. Nevi. Okay. Nevi. Nuri. <coughs> Rebeca. <coughs> Reina. Carolina. I'm <coughs> present. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. Victoria de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Okay. And Wendy. Graciela. Okay. That's good. Any comment? Any question? Are you ready for um, los planes de los fines de semana? Yo ya tengo las maletas. Así que prepárese, Carolina. Cecilio, vamos a ir a misa primero. El almuerzo ya no me acuerdo con quién era. Ah, no, con Carolina también. Nevi me llama para ir por el sushi. <risa> Yo creo que a Ana Carolina le va a salir caro. Almuerzo, cine y parece que béisbol también, o fútbol, no, no me acuerdo. Y divorcio también, teacher. Y, y le va a salir, <risa> eso le va a salir caro. Vaya, ven, al fin le sacaron una sonrisa. Pero... Va a estar... <risa> No, y por Me eso, lo llevo también, no hay problema. Y por eso, por eso le dije yo que por, se encierra para decir las cosas en el cuarto. <ríe> y al esposo lo manda al patio. <ríe> Good. Ok. So, any comments, any question? Cecilio? I, I am, I am please. Ah, oh, seriously. Interesting. Ah, yeah. oh. entonces es antiguo ahí a, a los compañeros porque. Okay. Que nos oh. dé la bendición, que nos dé la bendición. Yes. Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's great. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Mire, ya, ya debería de comenzar a leer el Padre Nuestro en inglés. Sí. Es la idea, Tichi, aprender. Uh -huh. Y luego las misas en inglés. Sí, viajo cada año a los Estados Unidos y me he sentido afectado. Ah, oh, ok. Ok, so, al rato vamos a ir a, a una de sus misas. 
Okay, yeah. guys. Thank you, everyone, for your participation, for your attendance, for your hard work. Enjoy the weekend. Carolina, call me. <laughs> okay. Have a good night, everyone. Enjoy the weekend. <clears throat> good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. See you, Cecilio. Good night. Good night. See you Monday, teacher. See you Monday. Yes. Enjoy the weekend. See you Monday, teacher. Everyone. Bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next weekend, right? La siguiente semana. Next week. Next week. Next week. Weekend is fin de semana. Last week is fin de semana. Last is el pasado. Last week. Entonces, next week. Next week. Next Monday. Yes. Enjoy the weekend. English class. Exactly. <clears throat> Good night. Good night to you. Good night, teacher. Good night, um, Ana Carolina Jiménez Lima. <laughs>